you've got your book there, 50 Voices oh, yes. of Disbelief. So before we go any further, we should do the free advertisement for 50 Voices right. of Disbelief, <laughs> edited by myself, Andrew Day Shoeclink, published by Wiley Blackwell in Oxford and other places. Uh, came out on the 9th of October in the UK and is coming out uh, shortly in other places, just about to be published in Australia as we speak, mm. and published in the US at the end of October. Mm, awesome. Yeah, so how long did it take you to put all this together? Oh, it's hard to put an exact time on it because there are a number of stages. Mm. From when we had the idea to publication would be about two years. Mm. We started, let's see, we started approaching people to get this book off the ground probably just on two years ago. Mm. We needed to approach some people and say, are you agreeable in principle to writing an essay in this book? Mm. So that we could then go to a publisher or publishers saying, look, we want to do this book and here's some people who have agreed in principle. Right. So there are a number of, of stages and to some extent there's a catch-22. If you haven't got people on board, you can't interest the publisher. Mm. If you haven't got a publisher, you can't get people on board. So you, you work through these processes to try to get up by its bootstraps. Then when we actually got the publisher on board, we worked very intensively over a period of time, a period of about, I guess, 18 months, soliciting essays, getting essays in, you know, working on the drafts, working with the publishers in the UK and so on. I guess the really intense phase of the work was the second half of last year uh, we're working through from about May last year to about October, November last year, yeah, very intensively working with the authors on the essays. It does take, must take a lot of work to get put something together. It's, you know, get a book published and get it recognised. It's, yeah, quite a feat. Yeah, the actual, the actual putting together of the book, the editing of the book and so on. From the point of view of the editors, since it's original essays and we're working with authors on every essay, it's comparable to writing a book of that length. Uh, you know, if Udo and I had sat there and co-written a book of a similar length, the amount of work would probably have been similar. But of course, if you're writing a book or editing a book or whatever, you know, there's a lot that goes beyond just the writing or editing of the book. But shepherding it to get it to a publisher, shepherding it through the whole publication mm. process, and then the promotion, which is what we're trying to do now. Mm. Oh, that's good. That, so um, it's very hard to tell at the moment because it's just been published how well it's going, but from what I, what you've told me before, it seems to be going. It seems to be selling quite well in the UK. All I can tell you at the moment is that the Amazon UK and Amazon rankings have been quite healthy. That shows that people who know about the book mm. are prepared to go and buy it from Amazon or Amazon UK. There is you know, a market there, in other words. It's much too early to know how many copies will actually sell, mm. because that depends on how many people know about it. That depends on how effective the promotion is. You know, are we getting mainstream media coverage and so on? But we certainly know enough at this stage to know that there is a real market out there for mm. it. If yeah, if we can actually you know, get it out so people know about it. Right, and it seems to be mentioned. I think, well, at least you've been mentioned. Um, uh, I was a bit confused. I thought I'd seen a mention of this uh, book on PZ Myers' blog, but I might be wrong. Okay, as far as I know, um, Paul Myers hasn't yet reviewed it on his yeah. blog. He and I were both at the Atheist Alliance International Convention in Los Angeles two weeks ago. Yeah. We both spoke there, we went to each other's talks, yes. and he did review my talk in a favourable way. Thank you, PC. <laughs> but as far as I know, he hasn't yet said anything about the book. He does have a copy of the book that was sent to him by the publisher, yeah, but I don't think he's said anything about the book itself. Yeah. And of course, we're trying to get all sorts of people to, to write about the book, either the mainstream media or yeah. on the internet. Okay. Uh, some things have happened. Hopefully a lot more will happen. And, uh, and about the interview on Butterflies and Wheels? Yeah, um, Tarek Musa uh, interviewed us yes. uh, on Butterflies and Wheels, a fairly Benson's pretty well-known website. Yes. Um, that was linked to by Richard Dawkins' website, which means it gets oh, okay. a lot more exposure yeah, yeah. still. Yeah, that's right. That's what I found, actually. Right. So I don't know how many hits Dawkins' website would get each day, but it would be a lot. And so a lot of people have seen it by going there. Mm. So, yeah, that's a really good place. A, it's really good to be picked up by Ophelia, who's one of the contributors to the book, so yep. she has a good reason to pick it up. <laughs> uh, but B, it's very good if Ophelia in turn is being linked to by Dawkins. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 
So did you, like, um, did, what were the major stumbling blocks in, like, uh, getting this book together? Was there much opposition or stumbling. much encouragement on the other hand? It, well, it's not, a, no one's going to, like, oppose it. Well, but I don't know. Maybe I'll, I've never published a book, either. <laughs> well, no, no well, religious people coming to burn your house down? No, like well, look, look, in this case, the, the way it's done is, Udo actually had the idea originally, he approached me to yeah. work with him to yeah. bring this idea to fruition. There's two hard things. One is getting the material, getting high quality material. And so we approached maybe 150, 200, I don't know, a large number of people, mm -hmm. soliciting them to submit material. Over the time, that's, that's the sort of number we approached. Mm -hmm. We've ended up with 50 essays. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing that had to be done. The other thing is to find a publisher. I mean, mm -hmm. actually getting a publisher for a book like this is difficult in the sense that being a publisher for any book is difficult, right? Neither Udo nor I yeah, has ever done a book quite like this before. We've mm -hmm. both published books before, but the books I've done have been nothing like this. The books that Udo has done have been a bit more like it, but they've been in the field of bioethics, which is his real specialty. Mm -hmm. Now, it was really Udo's contact with Wiley Blakeball that got us the contract with Wiley Blakeball. So I have to give Udo the credit for the idea, and I have to give Udo the credit for actually delivering a publisher to us. Yeah. Uh, but, but those are the two difficult things. It's clear, I guess, if I say we, pub we, we approached 150 or more people, mm -hmm. and we've only got 50 essays, that obviously a lot of people were not responsive. Mm -hmm. right. uh, so not everybody had the time to do something their, like this. What they're doing in their time of life, yes. Yeah. So those are the difficulties. It's, it's not that someone is going to sort of oppose the book, mm. but it's it's difficult getting a book like this to be yeah, picked up by a good publisher, and it is a very good publisher. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, as I mentioned before, Wiley, I know they make a lot of computer books, and yeah. Wiley Blackwell must be a spin off from that. You yeah. Mentioned. Well, Wiley Blackwell is the old Basil Blackwell. Oh, so they were for Wiley. So it's an academic publisher based in Oxford in the UK, yeah. one of the major academic publishers there. Uh, it amalgamated into John Wiley and Sons, or whatever it's correct name is mm. some time back now and so it is now an organisation within the larger Wiley mm. uh, but more and more integration is happening when you go to the Wiley website to find out about this book if you want to order it directly from the publisher for example. It, it still means that Wiley Blackwell is not you know, a huge trade publisher, it's basically an academic publisher you know, within a larger publisher. Mm -hmm. But it's an academic publisher that's got some muscle. Yes, you know, Blackwell mm -hmm. has always been a well-known publisher, and it, you know, it's always had some muscle. But it's not a Harper Collins or a Penguin, so we're not dealing with that kind of publisher that has you know, enormous scope to be you know, putting on author tours. You know, I'm not doing author tour of the United States. So, you know, we're, we're dealing with something a bit smaller than that, but still a very good publisher.